Hey guys, it's me again, welcome back. And today, and probably tomorrow, I'm gonna to be testing out uh, a new set of shoes. It's gonna be Ultra's uh, Lone Peak 3.5. Now, the reason I got these is because I'm getting ready to do a half marathon trail run uh, at the end of September. And the last trail run I did was with my New Balance uh, Vazis. And I used those mostly because one, I had those shoes available and two, it has some kind of grip, although not the best grip. I much prefer to run in my on uh, cloud shoes. Uh, this one's the Cloud Flyer, but these are notorious for picking up rocks and all sorts of materials. So there's no way I was going to run 13.1 uh, miles and pick out rocks in these every couple feet. So I was looking around and got these guys, picked them up. And they advertise these as having like a, a wide uh, toe span in here, lets your feet spread out or lets your toes spread out as you're hitting. And it uh, as also as having a zero drop. So that way your, your feet and your heels are at the same level. The biggest thing for me when I checked them out was the comfort. Now there's a lot of cushioning in the back. I mean, if you go on their website and look, uh, Ultra makes the Lone Peak 3, the 3.5, and the 4.0. I can't tell you the difference between any of them other than maybe price and colors. But for me, it's all about cushioning and stability. And somewhere on this box, it actually talks about comfort and stability. But I can tell you right now that with the, uh, with the flexibility in the front, and with the cushioning in the back, uh, the deep soles that we have on here, this should be a comfortable run. I really should not be running a 5K right off the bat with new shoes, but we're gonna see how my feet do with that. I do gotta say that I love the design here where it looks like a foot is in there. Or one of the biggest things that I like about this shoe when I first checked them out was the traction and the grip on these things. My, feet, my fingers, I should say, are not slipping when they go across uh, the sole down here. So I am actually gonna break these shoes in. We're gonna get, uh, check these things out on the road first before I hit the trail with them. So tonight I'm gonna be doing a three mile run with uh, one of the local running companies here, or lo local running shoe companies. And we're gonna see how this does on the road. Go Wolves. Group run is strictly running. Thanks for coming. Um, as Brady said, October 13th is the famously hot peak half marathon 5K and 10K. All right, let's go for this uh, three mile run. Not going fast because I need to see how these shoes feel. All right, a zero G drop. <laughs> Feels so weird. I'm not used to those kind of shoes. I feel like I'm hitting my heels down on the ground harder because I'm used to my heels being higher than my toes. So I still need to work on my stride. But besides that, so these Ultras have some good cushioning in the back. It's right up against my heel. I'm about to hit the mile mark and I'm trying to figure out what I think of the shoes thus far. It's definitely a tighter fit on the top, right in the mid area, right where the heel meets the foot, but in the front. I haven't had a feeling like that in like almost a decade. I mean, I can lace my on shoes up like that, but it takes me a little bit to tighten them down and get that. My toes definitely are able to spread out, but I don't normally run like that. Between the toe spreading and the zero G drop, it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to these shoes. I'll probably bring up some more when I hit like the two and three mile mark and definitely afterwards. But I'm gonna see how these feel on the trail too.
right, hopefully while I'm cooling down, the mic will catch all this because I noticed that the mic popped loose, loose halfway through the run. I'm a little dehydrated, so that's maybe why I'm slurring my words right now. So to recap for road running with the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s, uh, the first quarter to half mile was my first ex pretty much long distance experience and long distance is a relative term here on the zero drop shoes. So I was hitting with my heel down further than I should have and I could feel extra or I could feel me bounce off the ground when I was doing it and not in a good way. So once when I started relying more on my toes and on my calves to keep me towards the front of the shoes, it got a lot better. In fact, I'm probably gonna feel it in my calves later tonight and tomorrow morning. As for the toe spreading, when it came to the road race or road running, I don't think it's a big deal. Some people, that might be a big thing for them, but considering how I've ran for the last two decades plus, I don't think I need to worry about whether my feet spread or not. But it does help with a little bit of breathing. I will give it that. So let's go inside, get some pizza, and then see how we're gonna do on the trail. Pizza, this makes it all worth it. Right, we are heading down to a trail on Suda Shoals. We're gonna do a one mile run today. So I've worn these shoes a couple times between the road running with Strictly Running and our upcoming trail run that we're about to do. And I'm still trying to get used to the zero drop with these shoes. Again, here's our map of Slew Shoals. We are going to hit one of the trails, Eagle Trail. Ooh. So let's get into this. One of my concerns with running on a trail is always worrying about snakes. I say one nice thing about trail running got all this nice shade all right I hit the halfway point for the one mile run so initial thoughts on these shoes with the run I'm gonna do this while walking because I'm trying to enjoy the sights here is that these ultra Lone Peak 3.5s they do feel pretty good the zero drop isn't as big of an issue or a factor I should say when it comes to trail running I notice that I'm running more on my toes and on the balls of my feet than my entire foot I'm not lifting like that I'm pretty much hitting the ground and just taking off afterwards and it was very significant when I was going down a couple of the uh, ravines down here but these shoes wow these grips are great out here Maybe it's because it's new shoes or maybe because they are built for the trails. It's got, yeah, it's gotta be because they're built for the trails. But I am definitely gripping and I'm not slipping at all. My last pair of trail running shoes uh, were inspired by Continental Tire tread designs. And those had some uh, fantastic grip too. Their treads were definitely different than these Ultras. But I would put these on the same level as those. There's a leaf just suspended. All right, let's get out there. Let's get a little bit more running going. One of my shoelaces came loose. That's not the shoe's fault. I don't remember tying it tightly before the start of the run. I can definitely feel a huge difference now between the shoes, the shoe being tied and not tied. Okay, so I did uh, one mile, 
the sun is out, which means I'm getting sweaty. So I will say on the trail, the shoes, they feel different in a good way. These are definitely uh, trail running shoes. And while the grip is nice on uh, running on a road, these shoes are definitely gonna stay with me for trail running. It's gonna take some getting used to running with a zero drop uh, design. So if you are not used to that, you're gonna wanna walk around in them before you go running in, any, in shoes like this to see how they feel. I think it's a good feature. It's just right now, I'm not taking advantage of it as much as I should. And I think if you're not used to it, you're gonna, you, you need to test it out. Now the toe spreading feels okay. It's not something I need. It's something that's nice to have, but considering how I've run the last 20 years, I really haven't spread my feet. So I think these shoes will be a, a good fit for me for the uh, half marathon uh, trail run that I'll be doing at the end of this month. These shoes are so crunchy. <laughs> They're not picking up rocks. That is a fantastic thing. And my feet aren't getting sore in them. The cushionings on the back of my heels and around the sides of my feet, I think that's helping a lot. So this shoe does offer quite a bit of cushioning. I don't feel like I'm sloshing around when I'm running on the trail because there were a couple of patches of uh, pine needles and whatnot. And I didn't move or slide when I was on those. So I think that I'm getting a good grip with these shoes. All right, so if you have trail running shoes, go ahead and let me know what they are and how you think they differ from the ones that I just tested. If you like what I do, go ahead, subscribe, share the video, and until uh, next time, bye guys.